No matter the breed, puppies are just so cute. Cute are puppies. Cute and glamorous, darling. A few basic lessons will let you and your puppy have a lifetime of fun. Fun is my middle name. <laughs> I'll, like, train my humans. This is where we teach humans all the tricks and be good puppies. I'm a good puppy. I'm a good puppy. Shh, shh. It's about to start, you guys. Hello, Tashi Tash. So first, I just want to go around and I want to see how everybody went practicing your sit. How did everybody go with that? Good. Good? Yep. Good. I'm even practicing now. I'm a good girl. Sit. Yes, Charlie. Good. Good girl. Sitting, Charlie. Drop. Yes, Charlie. Dropping, Charlie. Fantastic. OK. I'm a very good okay. girl. So she'll pick that up really, really quickly. Oh, with drop, I don't know whether it's because he's little, but we can't... Oh, I haven't had any success in getting him to drop, lifting my hand up, because he just ducks under my hand and tries to eat the food. <laughs> Does so. He? so did you want to show me what you, what you got up to? Yeah. Sit. I'm doing it. Sit. Good. Treat. Good well boy. done. Hand out straight down. I'm doing it. Drop. 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 Well done. Boy, you know, I call good. this up dog, down dog. You'll get it, definitely. <laughs> we'll keep working yeah, on it. Yeah, that's right. Hey, Tash, look, I'm doing it. So the only thing that I want to get across is I just want to make sure that we're all being very specific with our actions and our words as well. When you're doing training, try not to rush it. And every time he does the right thing, we're going to give him a reward, whether or not that's a treat or a pat. All your undying love. OK, so today I just wanted to talk to you guys about engagement, OK? I'm sure that you've seen over the last couple of weeks how our puppies will sit for a couple of seconds and then they'll just sort of wander off and they're... Pay attention! Kind of now, it is really hard oh, no. in this environment because there's puppies... G'day! Hey! Now. How's it going? Awesome! Going. You distracted? Totally! <laughs> <laughs> Me too! You have something on your face. Just there. Um, Thanks, Eve Tyson. You really need to start practicing getting your dog's attention and keeping their attention so that your dog learns that, that they should be in a commanded position until you tell them that it's OK to move. So I'm going to show you quickly with Jasper. Oh, I'm a demonstrator dog. Sit. A sitting dog. Treat for sitting. So I'm going to start holding my treats nice and low. How do I get more treats? Good. Treat for sitting! Now you can see that I'm starting to use that marking word as well. Maybe if I look her in the face, her hand gives me snacks. Good. Another one! I must have done something right. Good. I think that worked. Oh, what else can I try? Oh, well, what if I turn my ears inside out? No. What if I sit? Good. Yeah! So you can see that every time he starts to look up at me, I'm giving him that treat. Oh, oh it's okay. a face snack. So I want everybody to stand up if you can. We're going to practice it. It's really, really easy. I think I understand. Our eyes meet. Tasson gets that treat. So I just hold here until he looks Yeah, here. so nice. He's about here. Yeah. And then we're going to start to move. Actually, for him, you could probably do it here. When it's a treat. Merci. Good. It is good to be told I am good. Make sure you're using a marking word as well. So you can use yes or good or oh, okay. whatever you want to do. But yeah. as soon as you give him a treat, you say good. Yeah. Good. Good. So simple, so tasty. Très facile. He's going to look around. He's going to look around. Good. Good. Yeah, well done. My eyes may wander, but I always come back to you. Uh, I'm a little confused, Mumsy and Popsy. OK, so how are we doing with Prada? Oh, Prada? I only have capacity for one at a time. Which What's of you is it? Is that our sit or is this our sit? <laughs> I know Daddy's <laughs> wearing it still. <laughs> Choose who deserves my attention. Quick sticks. OK, so when you're doing your training and you're practising, make sure that you pick one person to do it. Because if you're both standing next to each other like this and you've both got your hands here and you're both holding treats, it's very confusing because she's like, I'm not quite sure who I should respond to. <laughs> What's Dad doing? Oh, do listen to her, please. I must have a pure focus. We'll start with you first and then we'll swap over. Yeah? OK. Cool. Thank you, Dan. Good. Good girl. Now I want you to be nice and quick with your treats, OK? So... Perda. Good ghetto. Good. Quick. Yes, chop chop with the yumsy mumsy. Good ghetto. Good. Now I'm going to get you to move a little bit closer and we're going to hold your treats into your body here. Good. Good ghetto. Yes, one on one is much more my style, darling. Sit. We did the sitting already. Sit. <laughs> Next lesson, please. Sit. Oh, is that a sheep? <laughs> <laughs> Sit. You're being cheeky chops. Cheeky chops at your service. Sit, so don't don't keep saying it if she's not doing it. We're gonna just lure her into a sit. Okay. Oh, sit. Got 
gotcha. Because <laughs> collies, they're so clever. She called yeah? me clever! So Woo! they can tell the difference with any little thing that you do with your hands. Okay? So this is different to this, to different to this, is different to that. So keep practicing for me. Now, maybe start down just a little bit lower. I'll get lower Good. too. So whenever she looks at you. Good. Good. Now you can see at the moment, guys, the dogs are paying attention to our treats in our hand. But what we want is we want to try and avoid the dog paying attention to the treats. You want the dog paying attention to you. So at home, you can start putting our hands behind our back, okay? And waiting for the look, and then treat from behind your back. <laughs> I'll see him wherever you hide him. <laughs> As our class focus on engaging for training, it's also important to remember to look after your puppy at home. Once your furry little friend is fully vaccinated and settled at home, we have a few tips to set you on the path of puppy enlightenment. Socialise, socialise, socialise. You can do this in a variety of situations with both humans and other pets. It's important you keep your little one active, particularly as they get older. So why not use exercise as a way to strengthen the bond between you and your pet? And belt up. Just like everyone travelling in a car, the seat belt is mandatory. So it's a good idea to consider getting a harness for your dog. A happy puppy is a happy life. Coming up, we learn the all-important recall command. And Dr Katrina gives us the lowdown on keeping an eye out for some common household things that might be harmful to your puppy. So the next step of engagement is, we call it say please, okay? What we start doing is we start asking for an automatic sit and we ask them to follow you. So that engagement is continued. Yes, boss. Ready, boss. So I'm going to see if we can have a go with Meg. Come on. I'll pretend you're a sheep, Tash. I'll round you Good. up. Hang on. Good. Am I rounding up Tash or is she rounding up me? Walk, walk, walk. Sit. Good. Uh, hang on, dropped a bit. Drop some treats there. And a walk, 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 sit. Good. I'm so great at this. And a walk, 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 Good. sit. Woohoo! Hi, Maggie. Don't let me get distracted, OK? No worries, mate. Wow, Maggie's too exciting. Oh, yeah. Walk sitting. Walk, 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 sit. Good girl. Well done. So you sort of get the idea. They start to pay a lot more attention to you and where your body is, which obviously helps with your loose leash walking later. She's starting to be a little bit more aware um, itchy nose, of where itchy I am. Nose, itchy nose. Hey, snack. Free treat. Whoa. Found it. You found it. Um, did you want to give it a go with Maggie? Uh, yep. yep. You betcha. Don't be afraid to get a little bit silly if you have to. Thanks. That's unfair. Yeah, mm -hmm. yes, indeedy. Right here. Good. Oh, yeah, bonus. Away we go. Wait, break for a shake, oh, and I'm back. Good. Hang on, break for crumbs. Whoop, free treat. And we're off. Now you can see, like, I know that Maggie's been doing really well at this at home, but here, in this environment, it's a lot different. <coughs> it's the same thing when you, like, practise outside of the park as well. So you really do have to be, like, really exciting. 
So you ready to get excited? Struth I am. Go. Go. Yeah, good job, Morgan. Tuck it yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm done. going like the Sit. clappers. Good. Back to swing. <laughs> Look go, at go, me go, 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 mate. Go. Yeah. Faster than a speeding <laughs> you. <laughs> good. Have a little wrestle with it. Go. Oh, I'm getting tuckered out. But let's keep going. Good. Good job. I want to see you next week as well. I want to see you guys get really jazzed up and excited with your dogs. So be prepared for it, because I'm going to ask for it, OK? <laughs> <laughs> I want to see everyone moving around a lot. Oh, thanks, Tash. Oh, maybe you could help my mate Tyson with a problem. It is I, Tasson, and I have a little problem. My humans do not understand. Sometimes I must protect them and their house by any means necessary. Protect with a capital P. Uh, yeah, sometimes in the morning he comes inside, says good morning, and does we in the bedroom. So I'm not sure what that means. Uh, Raz and Shad. Said in previous weeks and that we he, on the, the dogs can we um, they're when they're excited. Excited, but he's not overly excited. Um, it's probably a little bit of marking his territory. So yeah. you'll find that with some of your bigger dogs as well, especially your German Shepherds and your Rottweilers, yeah. they they will do like a bit of a boundary check. It becomes like a routine for them. So I don't know if you notice that you know every now and then he'll sort of do a round of the house. Yeah. Just check everything's okay. He's just coming in and checking the perimeter and then doing a wig. <laughs> <laughs> it is all part of the service, madame. So is the rest of his toilet training going well? Uh, yeah. 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 So I'd probably just try and get him out of that habit mm -hmm. by just not letting him do that in the morning. He's coming, ah, yeah. he's sniffing around, you know what's going to happen, just take him straight out yeah. and then make sure you reward him when he goes outside. I can no longer put the pee in perimeter. Oh, sheep are so much simpler than humans. Break over, guard duty awaits. With a young puppy, there are a number of potential household dangers that you do need to consider. The most important thing is to not leave your puppy unsupervised at home. Puppies explore with their mouths and anything is fair game. The use of a puppy playpen to confine them when they're not being actively supervised or a baby gate to block access to certain areas of the house are both good ideas to consider. Don't give puppies access to balconies or high decks and be cautious around stairs. It takes puppies a while to learn to navigate them safely and they can easily fall and damage their developing bones and joints. Plastic bags can be a huge problem as they just love playing with them. Think of your pup as a toddler. Don't leave small, sharp and easily swallowed objects lying around. Just remember, your four-legged friend loves exploring. So pet-proof your home because we want to ensure that they have a happy and accident-free life. What do you reckon? Coming up, we learn the recall command and also how to get the best loose lead walking technique with your puppy. Of all the basic obedience commands, recall, the ability to have your dog come to you on command, is crucial for your puppy's safety. The moment we're using their names to get their engagement, so now we know what that word means and how we should be practising it at home. Um, but our recall should be a different word. Oh, hey, look, my tummy has a Tyson. Bonjour, Jasper. So we're saying their name to get their attention, but then we want to use like a different word to get them to actually come back to you and for the recall. So it's very, very simple. And we're going to start very, very close so we say, Jasper, come. That's just like my name. Good. Good boy. So you stay nice and close, but you can see that the, the word that I'm using there for the recall is, is the word come. OK, so rather than using their name to get them to come back to you, we want to start using a, another word. So you can even use the word here if you like. You can use whatever word that you like. So make sure you pick it. 
Let the family know and keep it the same all the time. Okay, so we'll show you one more time. <laughs> Jasper, come. Come means yum. Good boy. Good job. Good job. We're making it nice and exciting. Uh, wait, Tash, you dropped okay? some. And if you're having trouble, you can actually move around with them as well. Okay, so just like we did there. Jasper. I pounce at you. Come. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, lots of praise as well. I want to hear everybody talking to their dogs a little bit more when they've done such a something good, okay? Is it to be said in a stern voice or a high-pitched voice or a welcoming well, voice? Well, it's a good thing. You know, you're it's coming back thing. to me. It's yeah. awesome. If I'm saying, hey, James, do you want to come over here? Or if I'm going, James, get over here. Do you know what I'll I mean? I'll do that one. <laughs> but you, which is more inviting to you to yeah. come back to, to? I'd prefer a printed invitation, darling. And that's why sometimes men can actually have a bit more trouble than women doing some training, because yes. you've naturally got a deep voice, so yes. you're like, sit. And especially if it's Scottish, then they can't understand it either. Hey. If it's <laughs> Tashy Tash got you then, Popsy. <laughs> Tash, darling. Your dog sort of goes through what's called like a flight period or a, it's like a teenager period, basically. OMG, as if I'd be like a teenager. Whatevs. So from about six months to about a year and sometimes even longer, they become a bit more rebellious, they become a little bit more confident, they start to go backwards in their training a little bit. I'm not backwards, I'm reverse forwards. It's really important to remember that this time is sort of coming up on you pretty quickly. They do start to chew a little bit more and dig a little bit more. I just want to be the best at chewing, so I'm practising. It's just that when they're growing up and they're sort of a bit more confident to be by themselves and, yeah. At what point do you take, do you allow the dog off the leash? If you're practising a recall at home and she's doing really well, fantastic. So then you can move it out to an enclosed dog park. Oh, the rolling hills of the dog park. So what you want to do is grab yourself a really long lead, so five metres at least. Yep. <laughs> Um, and then you can start to play with her out in the park and practice your recall in that different environment. Right. She's doing really well. Then you remove the leash. Then you can remove the leash. Oh, yes, Mumsy and Popsy do. So you're going to make sure that every time your dog comes back to you, something amazing happens. Even if you've been calling them and maybe they've been running around being naughty and then they come back, you don't punish them once they've come back. Because mm. all you're doing is punishing them for their recall, OK? Because there might be a situation one day where your dog is in a dangerous position and you want that recall to be spot on. With your recall, you all, always have to be really, really careful and just make sure that you're in control of the situation. Totes got it. Not all family homes are lucky enough to have a large backyard. So if you're looking to extend your family but live in a small space, here are a few amazing breeds that could work for you. Bichon Frise, bred for friendliness. And the Mini Dachshund, the child's best friend. Now this is a fantastic place to start as these are all wonderful little companions and loving animals that would suit a small space. And once you've chosen the perfect puppy for your home, you'll need to remember that as your new family member grows and develops, so do their dietary needs. So dog foods designed to deliver the correct amount of quality nutrients are essential. Just as our family require the correct food as they grow and develop, so do our furry friends. This is the science behind their happiness. Next, we wrap up with the best technique for loose lead walking.
Okay. So now we're going to talk about our loose leash walking. Oh, I love that, Tash. What is it? This also ties in really nicely with our engagement and our say please. Okay, so you've got to first have your dog's engagement before you can start walking nicely on the lead. Because if the dog's not paying attention to you, they're paying attention to everything else, and that's when they start to pull. Oh, not me, really darling. There's smells over there, and there's, there's another dog over there, and there's someone exciting over there, and maybe there's some kids over there, so it's all very overwhelming. And if you think that it's a bit of a lost cause and there's too many things that are going on, make sure that you use your release word and give your dog permission to be a bit silly on the lead. Permission to lop over! Thank you! Okay, so I'm going to show you real quick with Meg. Oh. Let's go, come on, Joe. Time to work! So we're holding our lead always, like I said before. We're going to keep it nice and steady into our chest here. Okay, and we keep the lead the same length all the time. When you're walking your dog on the lead, you want to avoid pulling them where you want them to go. When they have the choice, you can reward them for doing the right thing and making that the right choice. So we're going to start moving around. I think I choose to come with you. Good. Good. Uh, I think I choose to come with you again. Show you quickly on the other side. I'm making excellent choices. I don't want to move anymore. I choose. But get her uh, attention back. Uh, I choose this toy. Are you ready, Bag? I choose to donate the toy to Jasper. The trick is as well to be engaging. At the moment, I'm, I'm moving really slowly, but if you move quickly, your dog will be like following you a lot better as well, okay? <laughs> All right, Maggie, you're up. Which Maggie? Oh, me, Hello. Maggie. <laughs> Good. Loose leash champion. Good. Hey, we're on the dance floor. Quick shimmy. Ugh. Yeah. Come on. Oh, hi, Maggie. Hi, hi. Good day, Jasper. Good job. Let's go. This leash is as loose as a goose. Good. Hi, goose. <laughs> Excuse me, mate. Now you can see how she's trying to flip around and go on the other side of me. Walking next to a wall is a really good way of keeping her where she's meant to be. Come for a walk about, Tash? Good. Let's do another lap. Good. Done straight, Strobs. But you can see how engaged she is. Good. Mag Maggie, come play. Play, Maggie, play. I can't, mate. I'm engaging. OK. And that's when you give them permission to be a bit silly. But you can see how you start with that engagement and then it's really easy to get that nice, smooth walk. That's why we don't pull them back or force them here because then that pressure stops meaning anything because they feel it all the time. Whereas what we want is to keep that lead the same length all the time. When's it my turn? Can I leash launch? So that when they feel the slightest pressure... Is it my turn? Is my leash launch? They need to turn yep. around and look at you. Oh, I want that ball. But a force field is holding me back. Hey, Jasper. Good. I turn my backwards into a forwards. So when they get to the end of the lead... Oh, maybe it's a dog magnet. Oh, oh, now it's stopping my sideways. But Tyson, bring your ball into my force field. Oh, I'll just keep doing this until someone whispers my name. Jasper. I'm doing it. Look. It starts to mean something to them. So we want them, rather than to keep pulling, to turn around and face you. I'm facing you. If you do try to decide to practice some social walking and some loose leash walking, just make sure that you practice it for a short amount of time and then give you a release word so they can move about and do whatever they need, OK? Yeah, we don't want to try and keep it going for the whole walk to the park if you're going to set yourself up for failure. You just want to keep it short and sweet and do a really positive thing and then start, try again in about five, ten minutes. Would you like to share? Oh, yes, please. No. Oh. Hey, <laughs> joke, Siri. You've all done a really fantastic job. This week, I really want you to practice. I want to see those drops get even higher. Higher drops. Oh, yes, Tash. I want to hear you practicing that release word. I'm going to be amazed at release words. And we're going to be practicing your recall as well. So, I'll see you all next week. Yay! I think I okay. Ate some tired. <laughs> I think I ate some tired. I nearly forgot to show you my dummy.